Hi, this is Preston from Hornady. I'm over here today to do a little cleaning on my 6.5 Creedmoor. There are many reasons to clean the barrel on your rifle, whether that be a break-in process, or if you're starting to see a little decrease in accuracy, or maybe you see a little bit of pressure sign, it might be time to strip the copper out of that barrel. Uh, today we're going to be using a, a number of, of products. Uh, just make sure that when you're choosing a solvent, you read on it and it actually says copper removing uh, or has a copper removing property in it. Uh, there are many great ones out there. Today we're using Vortec Eliminator and Hoppy's number no. 9 copper uh, cleaner. Uh, we'll probably wipe it all down at the end with Hornady One Shot Gun Cleaner and Case Lube. To start this process, I'm going to remove the bolt from the already unloaded rifle and we're going to use a bore guide. Very important to use these things. Keeps the cleaning rod straight, prevents any damage to your rifling. I like to start with a wet patch. So we're going to wet this guy up a little bit. We're going to send her on through the old barrel. And you'll notice I have this at a little bit of an angle. You don't want you know solvents coming back into the chamber. Um, we are going to clean the chamber at the end of it, but it's just better to have it running downhill. I also have a rag at the end to catch anything that might come out of there. Uh, after that, I'm going to put a dry patch through it. Right now, we're just kind of, kind of getting the, the first bit of carbon fouling out of it. Now we're going to go after that copper. Uh, I am using a nickel-plated jag does help against getting any false copper readings, and now I'm going to a nylon bristle brush. Put a little bit, a little bit of that on the brush. And this can be manual, or you can let the solvent do the work. I'm gonna kinda do this in a manual fashion because we are kinda stretched for time today. So I'm gonna give it, you know, 20, 24 brush strokes, and then we're gonna let that solvent sit a little bit and do a little bit of work. Then we're gonna come and put some clean patches through it. And if we need to go again, we'll go again. You just gotta let the barrel tell you when it's done uh, and you're not getting any more copper signs. All right, we've let that bristle do its work, that bristle brush, and now we're gonna let the solvent do a little bit of work. We'll come back after a, an hour. All right, we're back. I have uh, brushed the, the rifle an additional time and patched it. Let's see how the bore is looking right now. Still getting a little blue on there, so we will need to uh, continue and let that bore solvent do its work. All right, we're gonna give it one more brushing, and I think we should be pretty close to having all the copper out of this barrel. Always like to wipe the cleaning rod off a little bit. And remember guys, there's more than one way to skin a cat on this. There's many ways, many different practices for cleaning a barrel, but the general purpose here is we're gonna remove carbon and copper from the barrel without doing any damage to the rifling. Looks like mostly just carbon there. Let's run another dry patch through. I might do another one right after that as well. Very good, one more and we will be done with this barrel and it'll be ready to go shooting. Very good, very good. Very pleased with that. At this point, I like to pour, pull out the bore guide, use a chamber mop. We want a dry chamber. We don't want any excess oil in that chamber that can allow the casing to actually slip a little bit when it's put under pressure. We want a dry, dry chamber for that brass to adhere to very, you know, for a very short period of time. And then this is just a raceway cleaner. We'll also get the lugs there a bit. 
She's very close to being ready to go. Hose her down with a little bit of Hornady one-shot gun cleaner and lube. This stuff is great on metal, guys. Great rust inhibitor. That'll do it for this one, guys. Stay tuned for more Hornady Tech Tips. If you have any questions, drop a comment below.